Hi guys, welcome to Farming Simulator 2015 with me, T Belly. I've got another tutorial here for you, it's just a short one. It's the A to B tutorial uh, for course play. Uh, it's this one transfer, drive from start to finish. Uh, so, what we'll do is we'll just crack on, get straight on with it. So, what you do is click on there, start recording, and then you just create your path that you want to go. just drive round. The one that I use this for is uh, to the shop. I just drive a tractor down to the shop and just leave it because you can do it. Let it drive down there if it's something you want to pick up like a uh, trailer or something like that. It's good to have it for. A another one back from the shop up to your farm. And it's just good to have. But I'll just do a short round the block one here. I say we're just going round the block and then we just stop there right so what we do then is click stop record uh, you can save that just save it as tutorial A to B there you go so in the list it should be tutorial A to B down there there you go A to B so that's good. So what you would do there is you would click. So you obviously don't need to be right on top of it. So what I what I normally do, say like it's to the shop, I normally do it from a, a, a location, and then I like just set it off just before it. So you've got your waypoint there. You know, it's that's your start waypoint. What I do is just right click to bring up your course play control and uh, just click the drive course oh that's found the uh, so what we do there look because that found the nearest one what we're going to do is change it there to find the first one it's only because I've gone really round uh, so we'll just turn that round there so if I do it from there, drive course it should find first waypoint and this is important I uh, mentioned it in my other tutorials but it's good to know uh, if this is de deactivated when it gets to that last waypoint there it'll just keep on driving I'll show you just uh, it won't take long so we'll just leave it as it is and this is default mode so Just this will be a path out. La 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 la. We're off down to town. <laughs> so yeah, it just follows the route. Really good. Pick up some shopping. Got KFC. Put some bevies in. Then we're back home. And the missus is driving. As you can see there, look, it's like all gone a bit. It's still trying to drive. So what we do there, look, and it's come up with a warning here. It's slipping. Now it's gone red because it's stuck. So what we do is stop the driver. And what we're going to do now is we're going to do it again. This time we'll uh, enable. So like I say, we've got the face. I mean, on that, that one, you can go to current waypoint, nearest waypoint, or first waypoint. For this, we want to go to the first waypoint. Sometimes you want to go to the nearest waypoint on uh, on other things. It's down to, to decide which, to be honest. So we'll go drive course, and this time we'll activate it. So we'll stop at last point or at next trigger. And because that's the trigger, that should be the last point it stops at. So you can change the speeds if you wanted to. I'm just having a look around. And there we go. Just, just follow it around. And now, hopefully, at the end, it should just come to a stop and just wait there. 
you can do more advanced functions with the record when you're recording your route. So fingers crossed it should stop now. There you go, and we've got a nice blue has reached trigger endpoint. There we go. And on that, on that note, if you have any questions or comments, by all means leave them below. I hope this has been some help to you. And I will see you next time. See you later.